Hello guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Azure. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Container Apps. We will set up Azure Container Apps in Azure and we'll see how we can run our containers in that and how we can basically run applications, server less applications using the container apps. Okay, so here I am in documentation you can see the details about container apps this is basically a ser serverless platform that you can use to deploy your containerized application and in this container apps you won't have to manage your infra and anything so if you have zero experience in containers if you are starting fresh you can use azure container apps to deploy your application and run your application smoothly without any knowledge or experience in containerization tools like Kubernetes or something like that. Okay, if you have this type of requirements to deploy API endpoints, running microservices or something like this, you can always use Azure Container Apps. This also supports the scaling and all so the container apps will scale dynamically based on http traffic cpu or memory load or event driven processing okay so this also support the scaling if you have a requirement to scale your applications or your application uh, requires the scaling in the runtime based on load or something like that you can always scale that using container apps okay start here if you have yet to build your first container but are curious how containers can serve your development needs so in all these cases you can uh, use as your container apps along with this uh, that this also supports uh, azure, azure cli terraform and azure bicep arm templates you can use those uh, tools or languages to create the container apps and deploy your applications in the container apps okay if you search the container apps at the top you will get the service with this name here you will have to open it and click on create to create a new container app okay if you see the definition here simplify the deployment and scaling of your containerized applications with container app a serverless solution offering auto scaling managed infrastructure and robust security okay so this is serverless you don't have to manage the servers that means infra you don't don't have to worry about them azure will take care of that you just have to deploy your applications directly in container apps let me create one container app and explain you how you can set it up in the portal okay here select the resource group suppose this is my resource group type your container app name suppose this is my container app name here you will have to select the deployment source if you are deploying your container image or if you have your image already in your container registry or if you have docker file you select the deployment source as container image okay but if you have requirement or if you don't have docker file you, you want to just deploy your application with the source code you can select the second option i will show you uh, using both the options First, let me select the container image and we'll explain everything how you can set up container image container app. okay select the region whatever region you want to create your container apps in and you can select the container apps environment here so if you don't have any you can create the new next click on next 
so here you will have to specify your container details like what will be your container name where is your image if you have your image in azure container register you can select it if you have somewhere else like docker hub or some other repositories you can always select this and provide your registry login server image details and other things so mostly if you are using azure generally most of the people and organization use azure container registry in some, some of the cases they use docker hub and nexus repository and other private uh, repository as well so for now let me select the azure container registry okay so here subscription you will have to select you will have to select your container registry since we don't have any container registry i am not selecting any container registry here here you will have to provide any image image tag and other details okay and if you don't have any image you can just select the huge quick, quick start image so that you can select uh, this image to create the container apps so if you are just creating container apps for demo you can select this image to create your containers okay so this is how we get this quick start image if you go back in the previous and select the source code or artifact here if you click on next here you will have to provide other things where is your source code okay if this is in github repository you will have to sign in with github okay if you want to upload the files like jars or something like that you can also upload that in here so like this you can create the container apps with your source as well source code as well okay let me go to basics we select the container image because we are con uh, of course creating the container apps and we should uh, use container images in here but we also have option to create the container apps with source code or artifact If you are selecting the container, you will have to provide other details. Along with this, you will have to provide the ingress details as well, along with binding and ingress. So here, if you want to ingress or if you want to enable traffic, HTTP traffic from the internet or from the users, you can use the ingress. If you click on I, Azure Container Apps provide HTTPS or TCP ingress. HTTPS ingress includes TLS termination as a built-in feature configurable as a part of your application configuration. You don't need, you do not need to create an Azure load balancer, public IP address, or any other other Azure resource to enable ingress. Okay, so basically this works as you can say Azure load balancer or application gateway. So in application gateway, you can also install the certificates like this. If you have some requirement to pass your HTTP and HTTPS traffic, you can always enable the ingress. Once you have enabled, you will have to change the settings. Okay, ingress traffic, if you want to accept from anywhere, you can select this ingress type, HTTP or TCP. You will have to select the transport if you want to use HTTP 1 or 2 okay and you will have to provide the target port as well so you will have to provide the port number where your application is hosted okay along with this you can provide additional information like uh, additional tcp ports can only be external if the app itself is set as external and the container app is using a custom virtual network and after that you can create it now let me go to the containers again we don't have any register so we'll use the quick start image this image will select and create the container app 
here if you uh, you can add the bindings if you need some additional add-ons to install in your container apps you can add and install that so suppose if you select it or create new suppose you just provide the test and if you what you need add-on type you need all these things you can install it if you click on ok and add it this will also be installed in your container app environment okay so let me just delete it click on tags and review plus create it will run the validation if everything is fine it will give you an option to create the container app validation is still running and it has passed let me click on create so it will create the container app with all the properties which we have given here the the image which we have given here if you have given ingress it will create the ingress as well or oh, and if you have selected the image or some quick start image it will use that image to create your container app if you have configured uh, azure container registry or some uh, different public or private repository this will take image from there as well and it will create your container apps okay you can see the list here these all have been created and it is now creating the container apps environment these are some of the dependent resources which should uh, which should exist before creating the container apps our container app has been created you can see this has first created the container apps environment which we need to create our container apps okay and finally this has created the container app in here let me now click on go to resource so it will take me to my container app okay so this is the container app you can see this is running application url and other things okay if you click on this you can see your container app is running with a hello world image so whatever if you have selected some of the image since we have selected the quick start image that's why this is running with hello world image if you select your application if you deploy your application then it will run with your application and uh, with this link you will be able to browse your application okay here you can see all the details like this is the container apps environment which has been created and assigned here you can see the log analytics workspace and other things if you click on properties it will it will show you all the properties provisioning status and all ingress is enabled or not and for monitoring you can see all the monitoring related things here in your monitoring monitoring tab okay here you can see all the replicas if you want to create new replicas you can create that as well and it will show you all the containers which is uh, container replicas which has been running in here in your container apps if you click on containers you can see your containers here okay if you want to edit and deploy you can deploy it from here you will see all your environment variables self probes and whatever you have configured inside your container you will see everything here okay if you want to change your image or something like that you can select it from here and you can always edit and deploy if you click edit and deploy you will have to again select your container image and all once that if you want to after that if you want to scale your container app you can always 
click on scale and you can add the minimum replicas or maximum replicas here if you want to add some scale rule you can click on add you can provide the rule name and you can provide the scale uh, type and based on that criteria you can select and add the scale rule so that uh, whenever that criteria matches it will automatically scale okay if you want to attach some volumes or delete some volumes with your container app you can always click on volumes click on add so uh, it will create the volume as well for your container apps if you want to delete it you can always delete it from here okay you have other things like authentication for your container apps secret you can manage the ingress setting from here okay now allow all traffic allow traffic from ip is configured below you can manage all the security related things here in ingress you will see all the deployments here okay you can create the deployment if you want to enable the continuous deployment from github or somewhere like that you can always enable it okay, if you want to upload the artifact like jar or zip files or something like that you can upload the artifact and your application will be working you can enable the custom domains here you can add the custom domains you can add the identity here for your container app and you can use the identity managed identity to provide your container app access to some of the resources here in alerts and monitoring section you can set up the alerts you can monitor the logs using custo queries from here and in the automation you can i think we don't have option to export the template here okay now let's go to the environment so this is our container apps environment and we have one application that is the our container app which is running inside this so if you are creating a web app and we create app service plan for that so simply for container apps this is our container apps environment okay here you can see other things like certificates azure files if you have added something like you will see all the certificates from here you'll see the ingress related things and you will see all the apps from here we have only one apps okay you will see all the services here if you want to monitor it or something like that you can monitor it using the logs and custo queries and you can in automation you can export the templates to create the container apps environment and also the container apps and you can use that template to deploy your applications and container apps in azure okay so in this video we have covered how we can set up the container apps what are container apps and we have seen all the properties as well that's it from this video if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel if you have any questions doubts or suggestions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching